Peace, 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 peace. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Back in time with yet another pristine, fine, and genuine new video. You know who this is. You know what time it is. Brother Henry Hank, soul conscious. Welcome back to both channels. Peace and blessings to all walks of life. Peace and blessings to all peoples everywhere. Peace and blessings to every man, woman, and child. Let's jump right into it. Uh, most recently, there was a minor incident blow up situation a minor or major, whatever, you, or in between, whatever you want to call it, on uh, America's Got Talent, as we know, between Mel B and co-host Simon Cowell. You know, obviously, you heard the different perspectives of their co-hosts and stuff like that. Um, I just wanted to go into this. Um, to Simon, I know he probably didn't mean anything by it. He was just being his sarcastic, joking self. But you got to be careful because, you know, I'm not trying to be sexist. I'm just being honest. Women, generally speaking, despite their education or whatever intelligence they may have, despite all that stuff that they talk a lot, uh, generally speaking, uh, they're pretty much still, um, you know, by nature, emotional creatures. Not that men don't have emotions, too, but we go about it in different ways and stuff. So you got to be careful. Because you have to understand that some of these females don't have the same level of mental maturity to thick skin like how some men do. And I'm not trying to be sexist or say that they're inferior. It's just that men and women, you know, we cope with things for the most part differently. You know what I mean? Uh, we're like two different species. There may be some general similarities, but internally, the way how women and men's perspectives in mo in a lot of cases is like night and day. You know what I mean? Uh, so anyway, you know, my advice to Simon and guys like that, you got to be careful, man. Um, especially you got a lot of, and I'm not saying that Mel B is like this. I'm just saying in general. So hold your horses, whoever's watching the video out there. I'm not bashing Mel B. I'm not bashing Simon Cowell. I'm just giving my objective take on the situation based on the facts. I'm not making any of this stuff off the top of my head. There's plenty of info out there you can look into if you think that I'm not telling the truth, but I am. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to make a brief video comment on this. I find it a little bit interesting. You know, I don't know what caused him. Why would he, you know, think about mentioning? I mean, I could see if it was something less serious, but knowing the type of rough year that she's having, what was going through this dude's mind? Like knowing how some of these females are, um, a lot of them are dysfunctional. They're emotional. Some of them have issues. A lot of them have been scarred by past relationships. Why would you just say some bluntly come out and say something like that without thinking, dude, it through? I mean, I could see if you picked a joke with her. And I guess I figured he thought at first he could get away with it since I guess they claims they're buddies on the show or some people. But you got to remember, man, buddies or co-hosts or not, man. It's like sometimes you in any type of relationship, man, you got to know when to talk, when to stay quiet, what limits to be drawn, stuff like that, man. There's certain stuff you just got to be careful and think. I think that if he would have known how she would have reacted, he would have thought twice, man. But this just goes to show, man, that we as men, we got to try to be on our aim game and on point. You have to understand that as men, uh, unfortunately, we live in currently in a very uh, um, gynocentric uh, female and children sympathetic leaning society. I'm not saying this to be biased, it's the truth. Um, you know, you know, women and children are valued more than men. We live in a pro-feminist, gynocentric society where we as men are not appreciated or very undervalued as we should. That's why it's good that we have red pill, blue pill, these different things that have helped men to wake up and to, to realize that we have to fight for our rights just like women do. But uh, with that being said, as it may, like I said, I just wanted to give a quick objective take. No offense. I'm not on here to attack anybody or be sexist. But this serves as an example why we men, we really have to learn to be more mentally and intellectually mature when it comes to what we say and how we conduct ourselves, especially in the presence of women.
Just be careful, man, because you never know sometimes how these females are going to take things to react. And that goes to all men for all walks of life, visitors, subscribers to my channel, especially my black, bright, Latino, all the non-white brothers to the good hearted, non-right, non-racist, white brothers and Latinos, Asians, everybody else. So with that being said, all the best in life, peace and blessings, think right, love right, reflect right, live right, do right, be right, positivity over negativity, like, share, subscribe, spread the word. If you have a positive channel, cause, or endeavor, I'll do the same for you as well. Don't just limit yourselves to the newest or more recent videos. Feel free to go through the archives of both my channels. Go to the About discussion page, subscribe, you Can follow me on all of our social media as well, including www.tumblr.com. Com, um, profile name Soul Conscious 4400. You go into the archives, most or all my videos from the very first to the most recent are generally there within a brief span of time. I usually put them there as soon as I can after I'm done producing them. So, anyway, make a note of it, keep in touch. Remember to come visit. This is your mini home away from home. All are welcome. Like, share, subscribe, spread the word. All the best in life, and I will catch you guys on the fly in the next one. Peace, 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 peace.